Hi viewers, this is Elisha and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our video today, I'm going to show you how you can actually unlock any question that has to do with uh, matrices. And this question was actually picked from one of the papers and that was actually the paper that was written in 2019, March paper 2. Without any further ado, let's just take a dive and look at how one can handle a problem like this one. So saying given that matrix A is equal to the entries are 6, 2, x, 3. Then the first question, find the value of x for which the determinant of matrix A is 36. Then the second problem, hence find the inverse of matrix A. So how do you go about this one? Okay, so now we'll start by determining the determinant. So we're gonna write to say D of matrix A is given by. For you to determine the D determinant of a matrix, what you do is you multiply the elements in the major diagonal. You find the answer. So I'm going to write that, that is 6 times 3. So this is the major diagonal. And then we subtract the product of the elements in the minor diagonal. So the minor diagonal is now. So we're going to write 2 multiplied by x. And then here, let me write this. 6 times 3, that's 18, minus 2x. Then this side, you're saying the determinant, okay? That should be the determinant that we have to evaluate. All right, so now, here we've already been given the determinant. We're told to say the value of x for which the determinant of a is 36. So here where we've written dipped, we're going to write 36. Because the value is already being given. So now when you look at what we have here, you notice that uh, this and that term are unlike terms. So we can't subtract, we can't execute the subtraction our operation there. What we do is we introduce the additive inverse of 18. So here we're gonna have minus 18, even this side minus. 18. So here we are, we are going to remain with a 0 minus 2x. Then this side, we are going to have 18. Okay, so with that in place, we can now determine the value of this. So this is uh, minus 2. You get rid of a 2. And then this side, minus 2. That and that. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 2 there 1, 2 there 9. So x is negative 9. After you determine the value of x, we can now write it that way that has to be written. We say here we've actually found the value. It's actually negative 9. So Matrix A is complete now. How then do we determine the inverse of matrix A? So, for you to indicate that you're resolving the inverse, we actually make use of the symbol. So that one shows that you're actually resolving the, uh, the inverse of the matrix. A raised to the power negative one is given by. What you do is you find the inverse. Let me show you this inverse of determinant A, then this should be multiplied by the adjoint, the adjoint of matrix A. Hope you're able to see that. So we already have 9 here as the value of the determinant of matrix A. What then is the inverse? So the inverse of uh, the determinant is actually inverse 
is equal to one of let's say negative one over nine. That's the inverse. Then what is the adjoint of matrix L? So for you to determine the, the adjoint, what you do is you swap, you swap the elements of in the my, in the major diagonal. So this three will go up, this six will go down. So yeah, I'm going to take this adjoint A is given by this three will go up and then the six will go down. Thereafter, we now multiply the minor, the minor diagonal with the negative sign. So this one will become positive nine, and this two will become negative two. Okay, so we have the two things that we have to have in place. We have the inverse of the determinant of the matrix, and we also have the, the adjoint of the matrix here. We can now multiply that. So we say the inverse of matrix A is equal to negative 1 over 9 multiplied by 3, 9, negative 2, R6. We can end here, nobody's gonna penalize you for ending here. Or you can simplify this. And multiply this by each and every element on the inside of the brackets. Let's take a while and see if we can actually work it to the end. So we're going to have the inverse of the matrix here is negative 1 over 9 multiplied by 3. This one looks like this 1 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 1. That would be negative 3 over 9. We can simplify this. And then we're going to have negative 1 over 3. We're going to have negative 1 over 3. We can also multiply this two. That's negative times negative. That will be positive. So 2 times 1, 2 over 9. What on this side? This is negative, that's positive. So we're going to have negative. Then 1 times 9, that's 9. Let me show you this. 1 over 9 times 9. We can simplify these two so that you have 1, 1. Since there is a negative 1 times 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1. Negative times positive, negative 1 into 1, negative 1. So here we need to have negative 1. Then at the bottom here, what is it that we're going to have? So it will be 1 times 6 which would be 6 over uh, so if I do this mostly people get lost only those who are very good at mathematics so we say that's negative 1 over 9 times uh, 6 produce a 1 now so it would be 1 times 6 plus uh, that would be 6 then negative times positive negative 9 times 1 plus 9 then find the number that you can divide in both numbers and you might write the denominator 3 there negative 3 3 there oh 3 there that's a 2 then 3 there 3 so we are going to have negative 2 over 3 so the inverse of matrix A is actually that but if you leave it here nobody's going to penalize you for doing that Friends, that's how we do it. If you like the video, don't forget to hit on the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment in the, in the comment section. Don't you forget to share with your friends. And then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I happen to roll out the video, you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. This is your friend and brother, Doc Mountain.